So there is really no superfood, five superfoods or anything like that. And there's also not that grains are bad. Grains are so vilified now, right? So, you know, this, this is the point that, again, we keep as a society looking for that sixer that we can hit out of the park, yeah. right? It, it is about little things. And quite honestly, I don't think a superfood will yeah. exist. I think it's a very corporate dream to kind of distill everything into one superfood and deliver it to you. Mm. I don't believe it's ever going to happen. Mm. Uh, I think the answers lie in nature. What's always been good for us to eat uh, and mixing it up in a sensible way uh, so that it actually uh, you know, delivers to you all the different things it is supposed to deliver. There's one other thing, which is, I think, what was good in a certain tradition may no longer be applicable to you. And I'll give you one example of that. If you come from an agrarian culture, uh, say for example the Punjab, the diet was designed to work very hard in the field. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of physical labor. Okay. Now if you're eating the same diet without the physical labor, mm -hmm. then you're not helping yourself. And I think this is true therefore for all of us that we may have cultural origins in certain dietary types and fashions and how we eat, but we have to contextualize that to our current lifestyle. Mm. And, and that's going to be a very critical aspect of planning what we eat. Mm. Uh, that we need to contextualize it to our current lifestyle. Mm.